guys, welcome back. Um, I kind of surprised myself and I ended up watching Fuller House on Netflix. They actually released the first entire full season and that's 13 episodes. And I was knew I was gonna check it out and I went to watch this, the first episode and before I knew it, I was watching the entire first season in one sitting. <laughs> And I will just preface this by saying the first episode is definitely a little cringeworthy with all of the cheesy, warm, feely stuff going on. But if you were a fan of the original, like I grew up on the original, you remember that that's pretty much a big part of the original series Full House. There was nothing but family cheesy moments, you know, full of warm fuzzies and maybe beyond. Um... So I think the first episode really embodied that whole idea. And um, I will say, I honestly was not expecting to like Fuller House at all. Like, I really was not expecting to like it because I was thinking, oh my God, they're going with the whole Boy Meets World reboot thing because I personally love Girl Meets World. I think it's really cute and it always manages to make me, almost always manages to make me get emotional. So they seem to really have that same formula. So when I heard about Fuller House, I was definitely going to check it out. But honestly, I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. And I can honestly say... I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, like I said, I sat down and watched all 13 episodes in one sitting. And why it was a little corny, especially on that first episode, I really felt like they really laid it on thick on the first episode. But like I said, the original was kind of corny too. But if you look back, you know, that was such a different time. And, you know, people have even said, like, I've watched the, like, the real story, you know, on Full House and stuff like that. And they'll say, you know... If we tried to do that today, there's no way Full House would last. So that was just like this perfect little window of time that Full House just had its moment for, what was it, eight seasons? You know, I know I noticed I went online after, I, well, as I was like watching these episodes, I was like, I wonder what the, what the critics think of Fuller House. And as you can probably imagine, the critics have completely just crucified Fuller House and it's interesting to see what they say and all I just see is a lot of critical you know things like little nitpicky things and I know one thing that seems to be a recurring thing on the critics and even just some people is the sexualization well first off you have to take this like okay first off these were kids on Full House they are now adults Okay, they are going, they're grown up. The kids are grown up, so get over that, okay? Because I'm pretty sure, I don't know any person that still acts like they did when they were 7, 10, 13, whatever. They're grown people, so get over that. Because first off, it's not even that sexualized to begin with. I mean, if you think about the society that we live in, Everything is overly sexualized. I think personally people are just having that shock because I know in that first episode with Stephanie's outfit and she was very, you know, showing off her girls there, which let's back up for a second. Stephanie has, she's a very beautiful woman and she has larger ladies and you know what sometimes that's hard to you know hide and honestly you shouldn't always have to and like I said she's grown people so like get over it that's kind of my thought on that because I'm just like okay really she's an adult I mean I think people are still stuck in the little Stephanie Tanner mode it's like Come on, guys, really? I mean, you had to know that it was going to be adapted more to today. I mean, we're not going to be going back to 1990s here. So, you know, I think that's just a nitpicky thing in my opinion. I mean, like I said, they adapted things to today. And let's face it, they could have adapted it further and they didn't even go as far as they could have. They did it barely anything considering today's world. So it's really not that bad in my opinion. Opinion. I also saw some criticism on one article about the Olsen twins. I believe it was on the first episode when they kind of called out the Olsen twins like, oh yeah, she's running her, her fashion empire. 
Mm. And I think they did kind of look at the camera a little too, just a, a few seconds too long. But I kind of love that part because, you know, I mean... I, I mean, I, I get respecting the Olsen twins' decision not to be there, but on the other hand, it's like, I, I get why they did it, and I thought it was hilarious. I didn't see anything wrong with that, personally. I just personally love those little quips and the little, the little how rude, and like all the little things, things they used to say. I love the flashbacks. Um, Jesse and Rebecca were always my favorite. They were like the couple. They were like one of the original ships that we would call it today. Um... Yeah, Jesse and Becky forever. And I saw on there that uh, John Stamos is a producer of the show. So, I mean, and I just love him. How good does he still look? I, I love his new show, Grandfather. Like, he just looks amazing. He's such a great, like, you just know he's like a cool guy to hang out with. <laughs> I think my favorite episode of this first season on Fuller House has got to be War of the Roses, although I totally called it. I said, they're from Jesse. About halfway through the show, I was like, those roses are from Jesse. <laughs> I was seriously laughing, genuinely laughing at probably, you know, through every episode. I enjoyed watching these episodes. It flowed. It was funny. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a few places that everybody's going to maybe like, oh, that was silly or whatever. But the show was generally silly, too. I mean, just look at Kimmy. I mean, she's still a mess. And I heard some criticism about her and like, oh, her her husband, ex-husband mentioning that she's in the Kama Sutra. Y'all, let's back this up for a second, okay? Kimmy was a nut, and if you didn't think she was going to grow up to still be wild and crazy and nutty, you're crazy, because we, I think we all knew that Kimmy was going to grow up to be a freak, okay? And that doesn't shock me in the, the least. It's just, I, it might be a shock to the system, because again, I think people are coming at this show like, oh, they're still little kids, ha <laughs> ha, you know, you've got that stuck in your head, but it's like, no, you can't do that, you got to fast forward, it's been like 20 years, they are grown people, okay, they, they are not in that, that mindset anymore, so you got to grow with them, you know, come on, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I think we all knew, you know, like I said, Kimmy was going to grow up to be a freak, okay, <laughs> she lets her freak flag fly, and she always did, <laughs> You know, as far as DJ, I really wasn't sure about that whole single mother thing, you know, but really and truly, I think she's really fallen into that role quite nicely. And like I said, you know, like the whole show in general, I wasn't expecting to like it, but I really do. And I really think she's embraced that role. I think she's good in it. So, I mean, I really like that. And speaking of DJ, the whole Steve thing, oh, I so did not even think about, I forgot, I, I knew I had read something about Steve being in it, but I totally forgot about him, and just seeing him, it's just such a trip, because I love that he's still kind of his goofy self, and that was just, I mean, he's a doctor, oh, like, I think that blows my mind more, but I'm just like, I love seeing him kind of like in that role and with DJ, so it's really cute, it's really cute, although that Matt guy, you know, she definitely got some nice suitors going on there, go DJ, <laughs> Steve and Matt's competition, I want them both to win, it's like, I don't want, I don't want her to hurt either one of you, so it'll be interesting to see if that, you know, carries over, if season two gets picked up, so that would be cool, the little boys are cute, cute. The Cosmo, the dog, is adorable. They had to have another, the Comet Junior Junior thing. That was really cute. Um, it did. It brought me back to my original, you know, my days of watching it when I was a kid. It was fun. You know, I really don't think that the bad reviews are necessarily warranted. And, you know, I say check it out for yourself and make up your mind for yourself because, you know, the critics have never dictated what I think and the critics are usually wrong in my opinion. So I say make up your mind for yourself because I, I, I personally enjoyed it. You may not think so, but hey... That's okay. I say just make up your mind for yourself. I thought it was cute. So that's it for me. I know this review ran a little long, but there was a lot to cover on 13 episodes. So, And just the history that is Full House. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time.